guys, we're waiting for Katie and Bellamy, who are going to be jumping on stage. And uh, they're both amazing. They were both on Scandal. I think I see them clicking on here. Um, and we're going to be talking about the power of Shondaland and the better, hey, the Hi. better the matriarchy. All right, we're telling you. All right, she's coming soon. Yay. We've been texting her. Oh, there we go. Okay, so guys, I wanted to start this panel by singing all the scandal ladies, but I was asked not to sing. Um, so we're going to sing together at the end of this. All right. You know what's really so funny about that? I don't think we've ever sang. Like, how have we never, like, thought of that before bells like i don't know i don't know it's shaming me <laughs> but now it, it'll be our chance now yeah like, so that's how we'll end with a short little ditty for everyone okay good right. okay guys so you're both graduates or actually gra i was gonna say graduates of shondaland but you're one of you is still enrolled in the school and bellamy you told me yesterday you never really graduate you're just always in the school of shonda yeah, I feel Shonda's also very loyal, so you always just hope that you're just on hiatus from the school of Shonda. Yeah. Land, you know? So, so yeah. tell me your path to getting to Shonda Land. What challenges did both of you face, you know, as women in Hollywood? Tell me, why don't we start with you? My goodness. I mean, I was ever the bridesmaid. I feel like um, I had been in New York for a long time, done a bunch of theater, come to L.A., done a bunch of pilots and guest starred and been so lucky to never have to do anything else, but um, never had the chance to really live and grow and learn somewhere. Um, sorry for the car alarm. Uh, and I had guested for Shonda on what was the private practice spinoff, which was an embedded great anatomy. And, you know, it's all up to Linda Lowy. She, uh, there was a part of Melly Grant. I had just a line or two in the pilot and she brought in five girls that she'd brought in for everything over the years. And mm -hmm. I somehow won the lottery of that, you know, it was truly just luck moment and um, got to go on the e-ticket ride with this character and with these people and working with and for Shonda. Yeah, and um, Katie told me yesterday, your character was only supposed to have one or two lines and that's three it. Three episodes, right? Or was it supposed yeah, to I was, um, uh, I had two lines in the pilot and when we got picked up, we did the table read for the second episode and Shonda went around and she told everybody what their arc was going to be for those seven episodes. And she got to me and, you know, I'm Southern. So I'd like dressed up and I was like, can't wait to talk to Shonda and just like waiting my turn. And she says, so I think you'll be here three episodes. I want to write a presidential divorce. And I was like, but I wanted to smile because I didn't want her to be mad at me. And so I was like, oh. but then they just kept writing for Melly. They kind of, figured out that she was a good like fulcrum, a good lever. Yeah. And uh, then they let me be a regular and let me finish out the whole ride mm -hmm. with everybody. You became the president we all want. You and are the president. president. I know, I didn't like <laughs> you at all in the beginning. And then at the end, I was like, she can be my president. That's fine. Agreed. That's fine. Oh. Agreed. Well, if Shonda were writing my lines, I'd be president any time. <laughs> <laughs> So Katie, tell me how you got to Shondaland. Your your uh, path here was quite different, I think, right? Yes, I I had that sort of move to LA, waitress, babysit, cater, personally assist every job. And similarly to Bellamy, actually, Linda Lowy, the casting director, kept calling me in over the years. And I booked a small part on private practice, a small part on Grey's Anatomy. We're noticing a theme here. But um, I, you know, Scandal was my first big job. And so it was, it's been really weird to be out of Shondaland and be like, wow, the world is so fucked up. <laughs> like, because Ooh, yeah. the title of our summit here, which is so brilliant, living in a matriarchy and the power of Shondaland, I just feel like I was very lucky to have my first like huge stint and why I like never want to leave ever <laughs> but, like, my first huge stint was in a place where it felt like utopia where the people in power were women they were women of color there were everyone felt inclusive and it was very I mean I was saying this yesterday but I remember when the Academy Awards were, were getting a lot of attention for and still are you know for only white nominees and and that and and I was like, oh my goodness, I live in Shondaland. <laughs> like we just, you know, we had 
amazing female directors. We had directors, black directors, Asian. I mean, it was just like a beautiful place. Yeah. Well, you're kind of skipping ahead, but that was one of my questions. Like, we're at this pivotal point in history right now where people are finally seeing things that have maybe been in front of them all along and they just were kind of blind to it. Um, and you you both have said, like, Shonda and Carrie set a tone on your set. Diversity was organic. Talk to me a little bit about that. Thelma, do you want to start? Yeah. Well, I just remember when I watched, um, just as a fan, I watched Grey's Anatomy pilot, and I was like, oh, man, this this looks like, this is the world I recognize. Like, this looks real. And I wasn't even uh, awake enough to say, why doesn't the rest of my entertainment look this way? Do you know, it wasn't even there. I was just like at home and felt comfortable there. It felt real in a way that other things feel like narrative, you know? Mm -hmm. And so whenever I would get an audition for something in uh, the Shondaland world, you know, usually as an actor, or especially a female actor, you you get a script and it says like Elaine, thirties, blonde. You know, like it's very narrowing. It's very you know, you serve a function. You're not a human being. This is your function. Play this function. Never descriptors in Shonda writings. Like never. It's just Elaine, and Elaine is like a ninety year old Korean woman, or Elaine is you know hot and Latinx and nineteen, or you know it just uh, and that again credit goes back to Linda Lowy. She would find the soul of the person, yeah. and so uh, it's it, it was just the story needed to be told, but the story needed to be told like life feels. So they found they found the souls to tell the story, and they didn't have to come in a certain kind of wrapping with a certain kind of bow. Yeah. And it really, I think, it's what made it so resonant um, yeah. globally, it, of course, but like made yeah. it feel so real to all of us. Yeah, and it also helps that Sean is a black content creator. So that yeah. definitely isn't something that they're like, oh, we have to check this off the list. It's just like, it's in her. No. It's in everyone. Yeah. And so like, you know, on that point, Katie, I want you to answer this too. You guys had a very um, uniquely close-knit cast. Uh, as one of our fans just said, there was no scandal behind the scenes, as far as we all know. <laughs> it was all in the line. Like, there was <laughs> yes, so totally. much drama totally. on the show that as soon as they would call cut, we were tired. such just hilarious sing. I mean, for the Olivia Pope and Associates side, we were just always laughing, singing, dancing, you know, um, keeping the heaviness to the actual, when they would call action. Um, but yeah, I think that it was, it was also unique, not only because of the inclusivity on camera and off camera, um, but it was also, I had come into this job and had heard these stories about women, you know, fighting for the front seat of the van or being very competitive with each other, that there wasn't enough for every woman to go around. And Bellamy can probably speak to this because she had worked a lot more than I had previously to scandal. Um, but that just was, I mean, I have goosebumps right now. I could get emotional about it. I mean, it just was not our story. It was not how the set was set up. Carrie Washington would be like, you know, I remember being like, I've never walked a red carpet. Like I've never done a press photo. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And instead of these horror stories where you like women throwing them under each other under the bus, Carrie would like call DKNY and ask them if I could borrow a dress. So, you know what I mean? It was like, so, and that was the etiquette and the, that if if something great is happening for Bellamy, that means something great is happening to the show that I get to be on. And so it never felt like anyone's personal success is a success for the whole. And it was wonderful and something I know we will all take to all jobs. Dude, it's, make, it's like literally going to make me cry now. But it's 100%. Because is not exaggerating at all. Like I got a text from Carrie, she was on the Django junket in Italy one time. And she was like, just want to make sure you have shoes to wear to that some kind of brunch like we were doing some kind of publicity but I mean she and I, I like seat. allergic to the front seat of the van like she she came at it um and of course we didn't know um her sweet husband at the time she we it, that was code name it was a thing but she came at it um with a quarterback's mindset like you know she came out at it with a football metaphor of I'm the quarterback of a team not like I'm number one on the call sheet and like yeah. on everybody else it was really like go team 100% and even you know 10 months pregnant 
18 hours later, still in stiletto heels. She is everybody's cheerleader champion. And yeah. you know, never complains. Like, it was yeah. like, you didn't have a, you were like, oh, <laughs> well, you know, she just, it was really, she, it's modeling behavior. It's like, she knew everyone yeah. was looking to her and Shonda knows everyone's looking to her. And yeah. that expression of like, shit rolls downhill, it never did. So we never did either, you know? And it was really mm -hmm. a very, it was just incredible. And also after seven years, it was like that from day one to the end. It never yeah. turned sour. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, it's just like to be working that many hours. Um, so you guys, are, you're so boring. You had no problems behind scenes. I, I, <laughs> I yes. know, it was really, right? Like, I feel like people yeah. also got to a point where they didn't believe us. They were like, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. Did you guys yeah, believe but, like, we you know, like, they're like we did all the publicity together. Like we were like kittens rolling around in a bag. Like we, it was obviously lacking in drama. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And there was no drama like the other stuff I'd heard of in Hollywood. Like everyone sleeping together. Like everyone was so boring. It's like we would go to these events, only want to hang out with each other, and then we would all go home. There was like no. Yeah. Like, you got along, and no one was having sex. You guys, honestly, <laughs> felt like. Snoozy scandal. Um, <laughs> such a snooze. Um, okay, I have a few more questions here. Let's get into it. Yes. You both work on other projects. You know, Katie, like you're still in Shondaland. You have your podcast right now. And one of the questions that I really liked in the comments was, how do you advocate for other women? So, Katie, talk to me a bit about your podcast. I know Shonda gave you that opportunity. Yes. You use it to amplify other voices. And then, Bellamy, mm -hmm. we're going to talk right after that. Yeah, it was huge. I I um I became I was pregnant the final season of Scandal and I was really tired and really raw and vulnerable and speaking about pregnancy a lot. And Shonda was like, You should have a podcast and it should be called Katie's Crib. And I was like, You're right. And she was like, Let's do it. And I was like, Okay. And it has become it started out selfishly as a platform for me to learn how to be a better mom okay because i didn't know what i was doing and i was like let's have the potty training expert hat on and let's have the pelvic i'm peeing every time i laugh and cry what the hell is wrong with my vagina let's have that expert on because if i'm going through it i know other women are going through it and now it's become this i feel so lucky especially in this um time that we are facing and i've been working closely with shonda and um the shondaland uh, team on how we can help raise anti-racist kids, how I can look at my own racism, my white privilege, how I can be a better mom, how I can be uh, raise a better human being in all regards, like an offer up. I have this platform of a lot of moms who are listening and everyone keeps saying, what do I do? And I'm like, this is what I'm going to get people on here that are experts that have been doing this work for 30 years. Cause I don't know. And I'm not an expert, but I'm going to find women i'm going to find them and they're easily they're easily available and they're going to come on and, and help and and teach and it's just been um a wonderful platform selfishly again for myself but hopefully through me and all the stuff i'm unlearning and learning and that other people can sort of use me <laughs> to also come along on the journey yeah but all thanks to shonda for sure yeah. And, and Bellamy, do you feel like you guys are both in, in a point in your career where you can also start advocating for other women? Um, you know, just knowing like what we know now um, as two white actresses on um, a really unique show, like what have you learned from that? I've learned that you speak up. I mean, that's your job. I think for a long time, I thought actors were hired to hit their marks and say their lines and behave, you know, but that was not, you know, necessarily my codependent, you know, people pleasing sort of upbringing. Uh, and now I know that you're hired as a co collaborator, you're, you're hired as a creative, and you're there to watch and learn and see and make it as good as it can be. And as good as it can be, it means that everyone is represented and represented fully and equally and has opportunities. So when, you know, when you notice that you've had like two white male directors in a row, you just want to talk to your showrunner and say, hey, just, just notice this thing. And we, who's coming up next? And how do we, you know, I know these people and what are we, let's look at that. Uh, I'm so fortunate also on Prodigal Son that, you know, the, these weren't conversations I had to have because they were very, very consciously uh, inclusive 
from the jump. I'm also like done with the word diverse because it implies diverse yeah. from something and that's so yeah. appalling. Um, so anyway, we were, uh, we looked like the world from the beginning and that's really cool. Uh, but that's, it's always our duty to stay vigilant because, you know, now, um, I can speak as a white lady. Now we, um, you know, after 400 years, now we're having these conversations, but yeah. they're late and they have to be loud and they have to be ongoing. And, um, yeah, really, really just glad. I've learned a lot lately about discomfort because like I say, I want everyone to leave the room feeling better about themselves if we've interacted. I just want to try and make people feel better. Yeah. Always like my dearest goal. But um, but that is also privilege. And so now is the time to like pick that up out of my heart and put it right here for a second and just know that the courage of having conversations that may make me or someone else or whatever uncomfortable is a glorious necessity and yeah. is usually met with gratitude and and interest right like what a time to be alive right now is that we are taking tiny steps forward in a way that we haven't before because everybody's taking the steps it isn't one person's fight anymore everybody's everybody's pushing and so yeah yeah I, so, you can say better than i katie no so, that was genius i was just like that was really good we were just like dreamily yeah, looking at it. We like yes bellamy yes like that's exactly you are our president know. keep talking yeah, so, my yeah, God. it's really important that you're saying that you know you have to make people uncomfortable you have to speak up um people in the comments are saying you know that's have you ever faced something where you spoke up and it wasn't well received but I also just got like the two minute Mormon, Mormon warning. Um, I know. <laughs> Where are we right now? So I want to ask you guys, what is one thing you have learned in 2020 that has surprised you that you were just like, oh, my God, how did I not know that? Katie, we talked about this yesterday. Oh, wanna... It's been I, I hate to use the word shock because all of my black friends are like they've known this for a very long time but i am absolutely horrified at how much i have learned in the past 3 weeks about our country's history actual facts that i did not get in school um and i don't know if it's because similar to bellamy like i was raised to be a big a good girl and like not ask questions and and trust you know, authority and trust the patriarchy and that I was getting the correct information. And I really wasn't raised with like a critical consciousness to, to like always think, well, what's missing here? And, and this doesn't really line up. And why are we spending so much time on this part of history and no time on this one? We've sort of just skirted around it. And I honestly, I'm just, there are things like I didn't know about Black Wall Street or Tulsa or Juneteenth is new to me. Like that's, my white privilege and awful and if i don't know these things how am i supposed to teach my son or have conversations with my family and my friends about the real responsibility and accountability that our country needs to own up to the history that we all share and have and so it's that's really what's my 2020 has been like wait oh like actual historical facts in the past few weeks that really we don't, we don't know most of our history i know they just gave me another sign so bellamy how about you i know um, i will say i will say uh i feel like the flip side of that which is from the moment i think it was emmanuel macron early in COVID, was like we're gonna put a we're gonna stop war because there's COVID, and i was like uh, we can wait we can just do that and then 2020 has been a series of we can just do that situations like yeah we can ban chokeholds yeah we can get cops out of schools yeah we can start divesting from the police and like investing in our communities like we can just do that and yeah. for all the horror of 2020 like that just knowing that we can and if we show up fully and that was the gift of melly for me and all of scandal is like yeah. all of my temerity and all of my second guessing like she just she let me 17 hours a day practice just showing up being fully mad, being fully sad, being fully ambitious, being fully whatever. But if we show oh, up, fully, we can just do it. Yeah. And so the last one, and they'll, they'll kill me for asking, but what was the most important lesson you learned from Shonda and Shondaland? And you have to say it in less than 20 seconds each. Oops. <laughs> can you go first? 
Oh my gosh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, or we can just sing all the scandals. Be a full, <laughs> a full, like that we just said, just yeah, her answer a full, confident, complicated human being that deserves to take up space and can use her, her voice to speak up for things. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, women aren't functions, women are humans. So, yeah, we're we right. here fully. We use our power. All the scandal ladies, all the scandal ladies. All the scandal ladies. All the scandal ladies. All the all right, guys, guys, thank you so much. Um, we'll see you back in Shondaland out on the internet. And guys, follow these amazing ladies. Listen to Katie's crib. Follow Bellamy, prodigal son. Yes. Um, I'll be right here. Bye. 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 Bye.